I want you to go make some new friends. Uh, or join a club. Or both. Alright, we're back. Five more tips on how to think outside the box. And the last one is a lot of fun. All right, tip number one, working backwards. So taking your problem, your goal, whatever it is, and starting at the end and work backwards. Because sometimes we start at the beginning and we just get stuck. Uh, I don't know how to get to the end goal. So start at the end goal and start writing the steps backwards. And what that does is it just messes with your brain because we're used to going forward to the end. So reverse it and see what you come up with when you're moving backwards. And that will help you think outside the box. Tip number two. What I want you to do is kind of twofold. I want you to join a club that you've never joined before and make some new friends. Because what we want to do is we want you to have some new experiences that will bring new ideas. And I think new friends also bring new perspectives of their lives. So I just want to shake your life up a little bit. I want you to have some fun. <laughs> and those kind of things can make you think in new ways. So find a club that you never would have thought you'd be interested in. Try it, join it, try and make some new friends and you are gonna start to think in different ways. We just have to experiment with our lives and have some fun, but do things differently. Because when we do things differently, we think differently. And that will help you think outside the box. So tip three kind of goes along with tip two, but it's a little bit different. I want you to take a class in something completely new. So I'm a huge believer in life is about learning and continuing to learn until we die um, because if we don't we kind of get stuck but like reading about new things taking classes and new things like it just the more we grow the more different ideas we have the more we enjoy our lives so i'm suggesting taking a class in something completely different so if you're very like if you're a financial person Take a painting class. If you're a painter, take a history class. Take a financial class. But like something that is so not you and try a class and it could just be a workshop. Like you don't, you don't have to take like a six month class and whatever, but like try something completely new. So every time we do something new, our brain turns on in different places. So if we kind of just do the same thing all the time, Parts of our brain shut down because they're like, oh, I know how to do that. But when you do something new, our brain has to turn on in new ways because it has to think more. And it, it allows your brain to keep growing and growing. And every time your mind grows, new ideas pop in, new experiences come out. You think in different ways. So have fun with this one and grow your mind. Tip number four. I want you to draw a picture of your problem. Um, so why, why am I having you do this? So the idea is, and this is why I'm really behind creativity and art, because even if you're not an artist, drawing or getting your creative brain involved makes you think more on the right side of your brain than the left side of your brain. Sometimes when we're so focused on a problem or a task, we get so bogged down in the analytics of everything and our creative brain shuts down. So then we can't think outside the box. So kind of forcing yourself to be more creative, drawing, like seeing if you can visualize and draw out the problem or even just having an artist date, check out that video, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but doing something creative will kind of open up the right side of the brain that will help you think more creatively, right? So that you're not just kind of stuck over here. So anything visual, artistic, creative that you can do involving this task that you're doing will help you think outside the box and will open you up to more creativity. And it's kind of fun, so try it. Okay, tip five, this one's fun. And life should be fun. We should have a lot more fun in our lives. Play games. So I'm a huge board game person. I love games. Um, so if you already love games, awesome. 
then I would suggest playing new games that you've never played before. If you don't play games, play some games. Buy a few board games and have family night. Play cards. You can even have a game night with new friends once a month, whatever. But, you know, when we were a child and we played games all the time, play is so important for opening up our creativity and having fun. And again, there's so many really cool games out there that make you think in new ways. You have to strategize in a different way to win the game. So it just opens up not only the possibility of just having more fun in your life, but thinking differently. So those are five more tips. And if you missed the first five, go back and watch that video as well, because all 10 of those tips are gonna really help you be more creative, have a lot more fun, and think outside the box. <laughs>